We have a visitor, Mr. Layla is here. Life's not worth living without those you love. Well, now this place has really come up. Oh, I definitely skipped the dialogue. I don't even got to hike up my skirt to make it to your front door anymore. You should see the garden. Make sure you hide it when my husband of my, when my husband of mine comes around. You wouldn't guess it, but he's got a competitive streak uh, a river wide. <laughs> then again, I, w I wouldn't say no with the results. Extra yield this year. Okay. Uh, I didn't just stop by for a tin wag, though. I'm here on important business, dearie. You see, Subira and I have gotten uh, the chance to get close since she came to kill him. I'm sick. I'm glad that Subira actually made a friend. I have to admit, I wasn't so sure about her at first. Some big authority figures come down to my farm and start issuing orders. But this isn't like that at all. She's got a real soft heart under all that order bl bluster. It here comes by every morning just to make sure everything's safe and sound. And lately, well, lately it seems like something's been weighing her down. Something big. Something to do with a certain human she's been spending an awful lot of time with. Um, I promised I wouldn't tell. That's all right. I think I got a good, <laughs> a good inkling already. Now I'm no expert on the order or, or their laws, and I don't quite know the specifics. But there's a book I think you should check out. Ooh, a book, sick! It's called The Order of Love. Check it out from Cleary a few years back. Might just be fiction. But I've got, uh, I've got a good authority that is written by a real order member, one who just happened to fall in love. Don't know if it'll help, but it might have some information you'll find particularly you find particularly useful, um, if it turns out to be true. Well, now that I've, uh, <laughs> well now that I've done my meddling for the day, it's about time I head back to the farm. I'll let you know when you're done with the book, and I think it might re I might reread it again after you. Okay, sick. We'll be seeing more of you around the farm. All right, the Order of Love. Let's go check that out. Let's see what that's all about. Cleary, do you have a book for me? Oh, back again, are we? I remember you like uh, I remember you like how-to books. Just got some new instruction uh, manuals and juggling. I think might tickle your fancy. Okay. Got to check out the Order of Love. An interesting choice of literature. One of Eloise's favorites, if I recall. Personally, I do not care much for romance novels. They are unrealistic as to be laughable. And this one certainly takes the cake. A love story between an Order of Majiri and a Cartel Grimlikin. I will not ask why it interests you. We are all entitled to our secrets. You'll find it uh, on the table over there. Who knows? Perhaps you'll find it educational. Mm. I certainly didn't. Okay. I'm sure I'll see you again. On the table over there. Oh, is this it? Okay, let's read this. All right. By Asani Freebooter, based on a true story. Asani Freebooter lived in the Apoc Mountains with her two pale cats and her wife. Uh, Zarina. I think that all Grimlikins, their names start with a Z. That's what I'm kind of getting. Um, she was originally a watcher in the United Order of the Palin Republic and wrote The Order of Love based on her own experiences while serving. After retiring from the Order with full honor, she published her book, her first book, The, uh, the Adder Strikes, and quickly made a name for herself. In the Palean literacy scene, she enjoys rock climbing, hiking, and baking. You flip through the pages and stop on a particularly interesting chapter. Okay, so The Order of Love by Asani Freebooter, Chapter 32, The Choice. Zanira stands across from me, her ears pinned back to her head. My fingers twitch as I yearn to reach out and scratch them, as I have done so many nights before maybe her tail will twitch up her pupils will get wider her whiskers flick as a shiver makes its way down her back but i know now is not the time now when she holds a grimlikin not not when she holds a grimlikin cannon in her hands and i wear the order's badge on my chest so they're natural enemies here they should not be you know canoodling but because uh, they're on opposite sides. Like, the Order are here to stop the cartel, and the cartel are here to, again, liberate people, or whatever they say that they're doing. Um, we can work this out, I start, as her grip tightens. 
would she really pull the trigger? End everything we've had together for the sake of an organization that has never loved her? Would I? Can we, Zahira asked, will your people let you? Will mine? We're enemies. Nasai. If I don't do this, she hefts the cannon higher, aims it at the ship behind me. I'll never be free. They'll keep piling the dead on higher and higher. I'll never get my last name. Ooh, says who? The Order? The Cartel? They both taken our family names from us. But who says we can't just give ourselves one? What's stopping us? All I want is to get through to her. To tell her that uh, this time we don't have to follow the path set before us. I bite my lip and swallow, lowering the rune stones that lay prepped in my hand. Smoke bills between us from the ruins of the fort, obscuring my sight. I take a step forward, hands outstretched, empty but yearning for her to run into them. I can help you. The order can help you. How? Sanira's voice cracks. Her grip on the cannon wavers. I step into her space and gather her into my arms. Chin rests in her soft fur and, uh, and adorns the top of her head. It's easy. You just had to let me love you. Interesting. So she fell in love with a Grimlikin. Let's go talk to Sabira about this. I have my own theories, but I've learned to keep my theories out of these things until uh, later moments. Sabira, what do you think about this? I never thought life could be Kova, like I was just this. thinking about you. Nice. Much as I know, I should not. Um, have you heard of a Sani Freebooter? I do not believe so. The name does not ring a bell. Oh. Should I have? Tell her about the Order of Love. Um. Dot, dot, dot. An Order member with a wife? I've never heard of such a thing. Surely it must be a pen name. We cannot know if the author was a real member of the Order. I would like to look into this Asani and determine the truth of things. If, if I, if you'll excuse me, I have some researching to do. I only hope Kaliri stock of books. I re uh, wait. I only hope Kaliri stocks of books I require. Okay, she kind of just trails off there. Okay, so now I'll just wait to hear back from her. I guess. All right, guys, I'll cut whenever that. Okay, Subira is here. Are you waiting? Go, by, I've learned some. Illuminating details about the book you mentioned. Asani Freebooter was indeed a real name of the member of the Order. Albeit one of the one from over a hundred years ago, okay? Uh. And she discovered a loophole in the rules, ones that I have found and confirmed myself. You see, when the cartel trade wars, wars ended, many documents were amended, including the Order Operating Guidebook. The purpose of this was to clarify that any law pertaining to the use of flow would not apply to Grimlikin or Galdur. Oh. And strangely, one of the modified rules was that against relationships. I almost did not see it. It is hidden in an obscure bylaw in an uh, uh, addendum sorry, volume, nearly a footnote. As part of this measure to protect the Gremlin and Galdu customs, the Order rewrote many laws with increased uh, speci specific. <laughs> I can't say this word. This is one of the words I struggle with. I'm sorry, guys. And thus restricted uh, its romance lim limitations only by Palea uh, Majiri. Um, Asani took advantage of this loophole to marry her wife, Zarina Freebooter, while remaining in the Order for many years. Interesting. Wait, I'm not a Paleon Majiri, though. No, you are not. What <laughs> The way she got excited, Subira. It is strange, however, that I should be taught one thing my entire life, only to discover it isn't quite true. Still, if we were to do this, while it would not be a violation, uh, violating the letter of the law, I fear it would still violate the spirit. These rules are meant to protect, to ensure... I cannot be corrupted or swayed by a personal connection. I have thought long and hard about what I would, uh, what it would mean to open myself up to such vulnerability. To trust you, Kobu. Perhaps some part of me knew from the start that my answer would be what I wanted. I was simply too afraid to take the leap. Hmm. I get that. Do you? That is a relief to hear. 
Despite our differences, I truly feel like you understand me. Perhaps I have nothing to fear after all. Um, Kovu, would you accept this pin? <gasps> I cannot predict that what the future will bring for us or for Palea. All I know is that I have you by my side. We'll be able to make the entire world, take on the entire world. Yeah, duh. You will? I, well, good. This is good to hear. I must ask you one thing, however. While our relationship does not violate any laws on the books, um, in practice, it is still very much discouraged. Even As uh, Asani faced much turmoil over her decision to be open with her love, and Zarina was downright vilified. So I would appreciate some discretion, at least for now, until I can think of how to approach it. I do not want to see you made any enemies of the Order, or to risk being pulled uh, pulled from this mission because they think I'm, I am compromised. Interesting. No problem. That's a relief. I wish to get to know you better and become more close. But I also want to solve the mystery that is before us. Perhaps it is selfish to try to have both. Goodness, my heart is still fluttering. Now, if you do not mind, I have checked the Order of Love out of the library, and I'm quite interested in what it contain, what is contained within. Please do not hesitate to stop by whenever you uh, would like, to, whenever you would like or need. This Beautiful. Must be our little secret. All right, bye, Sabira. Well, guys, that is her romance level three quest completed. Um, we got Sabira's pin. I did not think I was going to get it right now, to be honest. All right, well, I'll see you guys for the next one. Until then. Peace.